words, powerful words. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Delight yourself in the Lord, and He will give you the desires of your heart. Amen. Well, I just want to say uh, that I just came from a church. It's an interesting story. I was at HEB and I was just cleaning produce. And, uh, you can leave it on if you want. Yeah. And uh, it was an interesting, uh, this man came up to me, and I'm, I'm pretty sure you know who he is. His name is Bill. You know, yeah. And he just gave me the car, not so long. He just called this number, uh, this church. Uh, might want to help you. So I called and um, I spoke to this lady, Diane, on the phone. We talked for about an hour. And uh, she just said, you know, you need, I don't know why I'm telling you, but you need to come over and see us today. You need to come today. So I went over and I got to meet this other pastor. And we got to talking and they began to tell me that she was traveling uh, almost two hours from uh, Lake Livingston to come to the church every Sunday. And that she was tired. And that she needed to just rest. So um, she, uh, I gave her some information and we talked for a long time. It was really awesome. It was a nice place. And uh, I don't know, I felt like, I don't know, I needed to come back. So I dropped by today, and I kept praying about it, and I said, God, no, what is it about this church? Why do you want me to? Well, they're interested. They're going to meet with their board, and they might be interested in having us there you know, to share. Um, I guess share their church, and, and it's a nice church. It's, it's, it's on um, Jones Road. Do you know where it is? Oh, you've been there before? Oh, okay, so you know what I'm talking about. It's a cute little church. It's not huge. By the way, it's got a good air conditioning. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. But it's a, it's a small little church. It's not really big. But I think the impression that I got from talking with them, that she wants to exit and she wants to put somebody in there. That's the impression I got. So that would mean, I don't know if I would take over the church. I don't know. It's still there. They haven't decided. They're still in a, they want to meet with their board and stuff. But if we do go there, I think that that's... So I went there today, and they let me come up for about five minutes. And, and I just spoke a word over them, and they all got excited, you know, about what I said to them. God. And so we'll see what happens. Um, I don't know, it's still in the, kind of in the infant stages. Hopefully that uh, they got excited about the fact that we have a band. And uh, they, they, uh, they don't have a band, they just, they sang, but they did really well when they did, so, and, the, and you can feel the presence of God, and God was there, so. So just be praying with me about uh, this place, and maybe we can, uh, I don't know, kind of hang out there, and uh, maybe we can be there. It's, she's got it really well, I mean, she's cleaned it up, it's so funny, she has a cat. You know about the cat? Yeah, it's got a cat. And the cat came over and started wanting, and I started petting the cat and go, I've never seen a church with a cat in <laughs> But I guess, you know, I don't know, I don't know. We'll see what happens. I'm not sure about it. They're not sure yet. But um, just be praying about it to see if God wants us to be there. Um, so, and uh, just wanted to tell you, I had an awesome time in Mexico. It was beautiful there. A lot of people, it was so powerful that I stood and I gave them a word from the Lord. It was really powerful. And they came up. I mean, there was 150 people there. I've never seen anything like it. They just ran up and started dancing in the spirit. I mean, for an hour. And it was warm. I mean, we're not talking. It's, there's no, it was hot. There was no air. And they just dancing in the spirit. You know, just went absolutely crazy. And then we ministered, and I got to minister a while. And then I said, Lord, I said, there are people here who don't know you. And sure enough, 17 people came up. And they all got saved. Praise God. Isn't that cool? 
they all lined up and uh, they received Jesus Christ uh, as the Lord. So we have people who received baptism of the Holy Spirit. We have people who received Jesus Christ as the Lord and Savior. We also have some people who got restored of some things in their life. So it's just, it was an awesome day. That church is just, they're having people coming from another church now. They don't want to be at their church, they want to be at our church. And they're getting touched by the power of the Holy Spirit. And things are just turning around. I mean, it's just so glorious to go in there. And, and I just want to say, they don't have much. But the thing when the Lord told me in Revelations tonight, He said, you might have, you're in poverty and you have tribulations, but one thing I do know you have. And everybody, what is it? You're spiritually rich. They're spiritually rich. And so they just, I don't know, it was just, and when that word was released, people came up, they were just hugging and kissing one another crying in front of God and how they were so grateful that uh, they had a church the way it is. Isn't that awesome? It's awesome. Really, it was an incredible experience. And then I got to minister too. God allowed me to minister to the leaders and it was powerful. So One day, hopefully, that we all can go down there and together and uh, write and worship together. Amen. Amen. And worship Amen. and glory to God. And I think you will really enjoy these people. They're beautiful people. And it's God who did it. Amen? Amen. Amen. So I just want you to know that I'm still looking. Hopefully, maybe we'll see this place if it works out. It doesn't. The other church has never called me back. Uh, so I don't know what they're doing. So I'm going to kill them a call this week and see what happens. Uh, so, Father, we just praise you. We just give you glory. And the Lord, that you're blessing us, you're blessing Father God, you're blessing Divine Fellowship, you're blessing Cornerstone Church, you're bringing Father God, you're the one that's bringing us together, because Father God, there's no separation, and I pray that in Jesus' mighty name. One more announcement, we, uh, Christine is coming back next week, she'll be back Tuesday, and uh, what's her name, um, oh, uh, Raquel. Renee, they'll be back next Sunday, so we'll have uh, more people come tomorrow next week. And um, oh, um, August the 23rd, the 24th, the 25th, uh, we're going to Louisiana, and um, that's where they're going to <laughs> they're going to uh, uh, anoint me to become an apostle. So I'd like for everybody to come if they want to come. Uh, it's going to be an awesome time. It's going to be a Perez's church. August the 23rd, 24th, It's going to be on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Friday, they're going to anoint me. Saturday, I'll probably be going to preach. And Thursday, they're going to have some other pastors there that are going to speak. I don't know what they're going to say. So, I'd like for you to come if you can come with me. Um, it's going to be Ben Yeah, Ben Bridge, yeah. It's going to be awesome. He's, he, knows, he knows the church. So, anyway. Praise God. Amen. Praise, the Lord. Praise God. So let me get my.